Day six, Labucci did not end up sending off last night. We all got pretty tired and passed out at the late, late hour of eight o'clock. There is not a whole lot to do in this town, so a group of us all got together and played tournaments of the game Bullshit, which, if you haven't played, is pretty fun. Uh, myself and a friend Brian both won pots of 600 rupees, which is about six dollars. So we were laughing because that, that'll pay for showers today. Um, yeah, showers are about uh, 400 here. Uh, Wi-Fi is 600 for 200 megabytes and charging is 350 an hour here. So stuff is pretty hard to come by this far up the mountain. But people make do. Quick hike today, even though it is our rest day and our acclimatization day, we are doing a brief hike, always hiking, and uh, going from there. Check in soon. Alright, we're just climbing up to the flag in the background. I don't know if you can make it out. We've got Dinguchi below us. And over here is Lochi. Lochi is the third highest mountain in the world. The big down is Iceland Peak. And Iceland Peak, yeah. The most busiest peak in the world. Most busiest. And I've been granted permission to fly the drone today. We're taking it. up from Mabuchi. We are now at 4,700 meters. It is something else. Uh, even the map, it couldn't really even pick up the tops of the mountains. I couldn't get high enough. It's, uh, it's pretty humbling when you see how big everything is here. That being said, we're all feeling pretty well, considering. Uh, if you do this trek, definitely take the Diamox. It's uh, Denosol Wonders um, with uh, acclimatizing the altitude and making the best use of our oxygen. We've already passed several people on the way down that have not been able to make it this far, have got altitude sickness and have had to turn around. Today's our last rest day and we have two more days till we get to base camp, so we're all getting pretty fired up. Um, rest and relaxation and charging batteries today, that is the goal. <laughs> So we had a pretty relaxed day after the hike, all went to a cafe, charged our gear, and fittingly, they put on the movie Everest. So it was actually cool because we got to see a lot of the same spots that we've been hiking past, but uh, obviously if you've seen the movie, it's kind of a buzzkill. But um, yeah, we're eating dinner now. Um, we're all up on the uh, garlic soup, which is apparently supposed to help with adjusting the altitude even better. It's like the local remedy for altitude sickness and uh, more of a preventative measure. So we're all on that. And uh, yeah, probably more cards and hopefully winning tonight. It's the 
morning of day seven. We are almost there. Last night after dinner, we had a, as we do every night, a briefing on what happens tomorrow. Sounds like we got a few interesting things to look forward to tomorrow. Uh, apparently, the next hike of the journey, 90% of people get headaches, including Sherpas. So, that's something to look forward to. Also, fittingly, the hotel we're staying at is called Oxygen Bar because of the lack of oxygen. Apparently, it can be hard to sleep at night. Uh, <laughs> Just so many, so many good things where we do uh, put ourselves through to experience Everest. I'm already kind of winded just standing outside. This is, this is uh, just goes to show the lack of oxygen up here. But, uh, yeah, two more nights. We are getting pumped up. it's time to address the elephant in the room and answer some frequently asked questions. Hey man, where did you get such a ridiculously charming hat? Well, may come as a surprise, but there are more than a couple available here in Nepal. Do they come in men's sizes? Yes, in fact, if you do a little more hunting than I did, <laughs> you should be able to find a size that fits you great. Is it true that ladies swoon to such great fashion sense? Fact. <laughs> Is it true that the four inch doily has an additional 15 horsepower to your tracking capabilities? Well, speeds up to 10 have been verified, 15 still undergoing. And finally, how can I get myself such a tasteful, majestic hat? Well, come to Nepal for a dollar fifty. All of this could be yours. We've now hiked up to 4,900 meters, and we're now trekking through the memorial to all the climbers who did not make it back from Everest. Labuche, it's like a happening place. Off to find our oxygen hotel, lunch, and then we keep hiking for another two, three hundred meters. A little uh, same day acclimation so that we're all prepped up for tomorrow, which is the big day to base camp. By the sounds of it, that uh, jacuzzi may have been a little hopeful. The showers here are frozen. Just got back from the glacier hike. Uh, very cool to see, though there wasn't much of a glacier. Our accommodation here at Oxygen is uh, quite cozy, very colorful. 
Um, and actually, just outside the window, this is this is what the local huts look like out here. They seem to love putting rocks on the roof. Sometimes roofs are entirely made out of just uh, flat slabs of rock. As for the hike up, not too bad at all. Uh, I got a bit of a headache at times, just uh, minor headaches that would kind of come and go. Nothing too serious. I think everyone else is kind of in the same boat, which is good. We should all be good to uh, summit to base camp tomorrow. I uh, can't believe it's day seven already. If you guys have been watching from day one, congratulations. Like, you guys really stuck in there, I'm sure. Just watching us huff and puff up these hills has been uh, exhausting enough. Um, and I know, I know there's hundreds of cat videos you could have been watching, so thanks for tuning in. Um, regardless, we're about to go down and get some eats. It's almost dinner time. Probably more cards, because there's really nothing to do out here, uh, especially when all the batteries are dead and it costs like 10 bucks to charge a device. So most of us aren't opting to do that. Cards it is, and an early morning, I think we're waking up at six uh, to go eat breakfast and head to base camp. Check in soon.